Hey everybody, Jeff Blake here. Welcome to part two of our look at bookmarks inside Acrobat. Brought to you, of course, as always, by Zap Bang Boom, the blog for designers, developers, and freelancers. Now, uh, in part one, if you saw part one, it was all about the basics of bookmarks. In part two here, we're going to take a look at some of the more interactive things that you can do with bookmarks. So, grab yourself a PDF. This is the same PDF that I had in part one. I've got a bunch of bookmarks, of course, inside my bookmarks panel here. No big deal. Now, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to go and create another bookmark. Just real simple, real easy. Control B on the Windows side, Command B here on the Mac. And this time, I'm going to get this guy to open up a web browser. So I'm going to call this guy something like, you know, visit our website or click here to visit our website or something like this. course enter afterwards now as you know from part one the idea behind a bookmark is when I click on him he's gonna go somewhere inside the PDF file this time obviously I want him to do something a little extra special so here's what we're gonna do create this bookmark give him a name right click on him head down to properties all right, now in this bookmark properties dialog box that you get, you have this appearance tab. Now, you can make your bookmark bold, you can make it italic, it's tremendously exciting stuff. You can make them red, you can make them orange, you can make them blue. Really, really exciting, right? That's not what I want to show you. What I want to show you lies underneath this actions tab. So go ahead and click on actions. You'll get this window here. Now, as you know again from part one, the default action or the default behavior for a bookmark is to go somewhere in this document. So check this out down in this actions window down here, go to a page in this document. Now we don't want this bookmark to do that, obviously. So down at the bottom here, click on delete. You got to clear that guy out and then check this out. This is the really cool part. You have this action list or this action drop down menu at the top of this dialog box. Look at all this awesome stuff that you can do. You can open different files, you can play a sound, you can control uh, Acrobat based forms. Now Acrobat based forms, that's something else I'm going to have to do another video on. Totally cool stuff. But just check out all the cool stuff you can do. So the guy that we're after here is one called Open a Web Link. Take a look for him there. He's in the list. Choose him. Now this next step is the step that everybody always forgets. You have to click on the Add button. Click on Add. You'll get this dialog box here. Type in your URL. Very lovely. Interestingly, you don't have to put that whole HTTP stuff at the beginning. Just www. is good enough. Click on OK. Open a web link. Gets added to the Actions box down at the bottom. Click on OK. And of course, if this is your first time trying this, I'm sure you're going to be anxious to now click on your new bookmark. So go right ahead. Give them a click. You'll get a security warning. Click on allow. Look at that. There's your website. How freaking awesome is that? And how hard was that? Nobody knows you can do this stuff in Acrobat. Easy to do. So easy to do. Okay, let's head back to Acrobat because we're not done yet. A while back, I got goofing around with this, and of course, um, if you follow any of my work, you know I do a lot of web development as well, and I got thinking, hey, would it be possible to use a mail to link, you know, from like the HTML world in Acrobat? Well, you want to know something, my friends? You can. Check this out. I'm going to create another bookmark. I'm going to call it something like contact us or click here to contact us or something like that. No worries. Now, right click on them, properties, actions again, get rid of this, go to a page in this document, back up to your action menu here, same action, open a web link, click on add. Now, if you've never done this before in web design or you have no idea about mail to links, all I'm going to do is type in mail to, M A I L T O full colon, no spaces, your email address. But of course, I got to throw a little mustard on top. I got to make it even cooler, right? So M-A-I-L-T-O, full colon, your email address, no spaces, question mark, subject equals. Type in the question mark symbol, subject equals, no spaces, and then type in a subject line for your email. That's it.
All right, so the only place where you can have spaces in this bad boy is in that actual subject after the equal sign, okay? No other spaces. Click on OK. Click on OK again. You got to be dying to try this, right? Back over, click on your bookmark. Boom. I already had Mac Mail running in the background. There's my brand new email. There's my email address. There's the subject line. There's the body of the email ready to go. Totally freaking awesome. You want to know how to make this even cooler? If you're using Outlook or any email client worth its weight in salt, you could create a filter or a rule that says if the email subject line equals this, then sort it into a specific folder over on the side so you know exactly where your emails are coming from. Pretty cool. All right, one more thing to show you here. Head back to Acrobat. I hope you're digging this. It's pretty cool stuff. I want to do one more thing here with you. I want to create one more bookmark. It's not going to go to a website. It's not going to go to an email address. It's going to bring up the print dialog box here in Acrobat. So you can have a bookmark that says, click here to print the document or something like that, right? So one more bookmark, Control B or Command B. Call it something like print me or print this document or something like that. Okay, this is the theme for part two of Bookmarks in Acrobat. Right-click and Properties. Always right-click and Properties. Actions tab. You know the drill, right? Get rid of this guy. Okay, beautiful. So you're going to have to spend some time exploring around and playing around with these different action types, right? But by far, my favorite is this very first guy, Execute a Menu Item. What this guy will do, well, go ahead and choose him. And don't forget to click on Add. What this guy will do is allow you to choose an Acrobat menu command. In other words, you can trigger a menu command from a bookmark. Pretty awesome. For example, you could have a bookmark that zooms in, or you could have a bookmark that zooms out, obviously. You could have a bookmark that opens up some toolbars, or who knows, all kinds of cool stuff, right? How about this one down here, open in full screen mode. Now, the one that we're after is, of course, file print. Go ahead and choose it. Click on OK. All right, there it is inside the Actions box. Click on OK one more time. Test out your bookmark. There's my print dialog box all ready to go. Pretty awesome stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed this second part, the more interactive side of bookmarks here in Acrobat. And uh, I will catch up with you in part three, which I'm sure you're going to love just as much, if not more. I will see you then. Thank you.